In so many ways, we've had to build a college on top of the college. We've had to think about everything that we do and then go to another level to think, how do you do that and do it safely? So how do you have a small conference and do that so that people can be socially distanced appropriately? When I think of Reed, the model of what it is isn't physically distanced and online. It's in person and close together. And so rethinking how do we capture those fundamental things, but do it in a different way. Over the summer, the AV people worked like crazy, putting in Zoom cameras and multiple screens so that we have rooms that are huge, but they only have 24 students in it. You could have class in a tent, you could have a class online, you have classes in the chapel, we have classes in the gym, you know, like these spaces that we never used before. The learning itself is kind of the foundation of that, but you kind of put it into these different spaces. The Reed student body and the Reed community in general is very autonomous. Everyone has their own choice when it comes to a lot of things. I think that plays a central role in the time of the pandemic because everyone has a choice whether they want to be on campus or not. I didn't expect coming to, like, to a college for like the professors to be so accommodating. They just do everything they can to help the students. It is nice to be like present in a classroom. I think that has been like a really great help with just like building a sense of community while still like pursuing something that you love. I'm in a class called Leaves to Landscapes. It's a biology class that is centered around Pacific Northwest ecology, specifically tree ecology. Part of that class involves camping and field trips, um, which of course were not super possible this year, but Professor Ramirez was able to be super innovative in a quick turnaround time, and he designed a way for us to still go on field trips in a COVID-sensitive way. Because of the extra effort that instructors have been putting in and the continued eagerness of students to participate in the same capacity that they were before COVID, the energy that makes conferences lively and illuminating is definitely still there. There's emotional reactions to the actual on-campus experience. Folks have an opportunity to feel emotion and feel energy and get excited about things. As a teacher, you feel very often that when class is over, they don't want to leave. They would be happy to stay and to continue the conversation. I think that's really one of their most concrete opportunities to connect. It's a community where everybody is on the same page when it comes to the primacy of the intellectual program. And I think there are fewer and fewer schools where that's the case.